Okay, so today this is um, this is the 25th story, and it has to do. This is not that easy. Uh, talking about uh, your greatest strengths. That's what the question is. What are your greatest strengths? Well, my greatest weakness probably is a clean office. I can't keep the office clean at all. But seriously, if I have to respond to this question, then here we go. I picked four things. One is tenacity. Uh, means that you uh, don't give up. You just keep going and going and going. Now, that may not be true on my learning Spanish because I had a goal to learn Spanish this year, but I'm not doing well at all. In fact, I stopped for the moment. <clears throat> but tenacity, I remember, I think I get a lot of this from my father because he had this business, uh, pile driving, and we did so many uh, things per year, so many jobs, 26, and you couldn't just leave. You had to, you had to get the job done. And so I think that helped me then going in the army helped again because you can't just quit there you don't have a choice and so then these things begin to get ingrained I went in the army first then worked for my dad so tenacity was number one the second one uh, Judy says that I I see the big picture so if I go into something and there's all kinds of activities going on uh, I'm able to decide what's the most important thing it's kinda like getting to the root cause of a problem uh, I, I just am able to see it more quickly, I think, than others. So, the ability to see the big picture. Third one is I'm an eternal optimist. I'm a realist and I'm ready for things if they don't go well, but I'm optimistic that we have potential to do just about anything. And so, I have that, I always look toward yes as opposed to negative no. And uh, people live longer if they're optimists. That's what I understand. So I'm glad that I'm that way. I don't think that I did anything to become that way. I, I get the feeling that that just comes with you, that uh, that's part of you. Anyway, number three was optimist. And the fourth one is uh, <clears throat> it's two. I keep my cool and I have a poker face. Keep my cool. I don't. I used to. But uh, now I don't just uh, uh, blow up too quickly, say things too quickly. I, I um, to calm down, think about it. The worst thing that can happen uh, uh, rarely does. And if it does, there was probably nothing you could do about it anyway. So I do have a tendency to keep my cool. It, I haven't always been that way. And some people may say I'm not that way. But uh, if anything, I know I'm getting better. And the poker face that kind of goes along with that is uh, poker is a game where you don't guard card game where you don't want other people to know what you're thinking, and so I've been told I have a poker face that I I don't I don't give up very easily what I know or or uh, what my position is if it's not in my favor. So that's called a poker face. So four things: tenacity, see the big picture, optimist and keeping my cool slash poker faced. So that's it, and have a great day.